Hello, my wonderful people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on your time zone or anytime you are meeting this beautiful platform, Linda's TV show. If you like the content or whatever you are seeing in this platform, kindly subscribe. Put on your notification to all notification. Most of you claim you don't see my notification because you do not set it to all. When you set it to all, anything that I post in this platform, you will get it. YouTube, I appreciate you for creating this wonderful platform that we are using to disseminate information. It's not easy to manage such big platform. And also, I want to bring this to YouTube notice and also a disclaimer that here in Linda's TV show, we react to all forms of videos across the globe. We do not preach misleading information. We do not preach hate speech. We do not preach violence. We do not instigate any violence. Rather, we are here to educate, inform. Information is power. When you are informed, you will be educated. And when you are deformed, your own is gone. So that is what... The denominator in all of this is for trying to get fair hearing. And if this fair hearing cannot be guaranteed in this court, then we need to try another court. The Constitution is very clear on this. Section 36 made it very clear that he deserves, as of right, the adequate facility to prepare for his defense. And who prepares him for his defense? His defense counsel. But we're not being given the opportunity. The court did make some order. And the consequences of that order would have resulted in getting him adequately prepared. But most of those orders were disobeyed yes. in their material particulars. For instance, we were not provided a clean room where no one will have listening devices to listen to our conversations. Right. And our documents, legal documents we take to the DSS facility, detention facility, are interdicted and seized and taken to places, photocopies and whatnot. Even anybody who is not a lawyer knows that a client, especially a defendant who is facing the death penalty, deserves to have some private time with his lawyers in terms of preparing for his defense. It's not everything we discuss that is critical to his defense that the prosecution is supposed to know in advance. But this is exactly what was happening in this matter. And then secondly, we do have three appeals. One goes to restoring his bail which the Supreme Court criticized, severely criticized the revocation of his bail by this High Court. And the other two go to the jurisdiction of the High Court to try him for these offenses. So what is the really the, 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 what is really the essence of rushing to trial when you have these situations, these two situations militating against such trial? So we took that position and we tried to relay it to the Honorable Court, but the Court was insisting in the face of all this, especially the injustice of not allowing him his constitutional right to fail here, and the court was insisting on proceeding to trial, that left our client with no choice than to express his loss of confidence in the impartiality of the court. That's what happened. That's why he requested for the judge to recuse herself. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, sir, the issue you. of uh, settling out of court, has that one uh, crumbled? Well, it's going on. It's not particularly an issue for the lawyers. It's particularly an issue for Southeast leaders and the federal government of Nigeria. And it's our understanding as a legal team that they are having discussions on that. Yes, yes. But our job is to come here and practice law and protect the rights of our client. Thank you. Thank you. The public must understand. Most of you journalists, the legal correspondents, you don't take time to actually study yeah. some of these rulings and judgments. Yes. Go and study. In fact, I'll give you I'll give it to her because I think she's a bit um, more. Give her the truth of judgment. More, more the the whole is for me. Yes. She can. I want to let the whole world understand something very, very clear. In all this, this is judgment of the Supreme Court. It made it very clear that even that the impartiality of the judge is questionable. So and it's here. You guys, please do bear with me. It says it here. What is it, page? What is that again? Uh, where, 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 where it says all these things are online. Is it not page 18? All these things are online. So I suggest that the journalists in this country actually take out time to do some basic research. It's not difficult, just minor research. You will understand the vacuousness, the emptiness of all the charges against me. Okay. They kept, they kept switching the charges. Yes. They 
They said I committed this crime in England, isn't it? Yes. I made a break in England. Yes. And a nine charges leveled against me. This place where I committed this crime was London, United Kingdom. Yes. When my lawyers came to see me, I had a discussion with them about how I'm going to defend myself. I told them that no court in Nigeria has jurisdiction to try me. Because, because since this offense was committed in England, so they said, it's only a UK court that can give a Nigerian court the authority to proceed, isn't it? Based on that, they now amended the charge again and removed London. Location of the broadcast. Location of the of the broadcast. Contrary to section one, what is it? One ninety-six. One seventy-four of the Terrorism Prevention Act, twenty twenty-two. In violation of their own laws. In violation of their own laws. And you want me to stand trial under such circumstances? Is that possible? No, no. they can't to stand trial where these managers are going on. It's not possible. And I have respect and love for her. She knows. What if this case comes back to her? Because she said no other person. It is not possible. This this persecution of the Igbo people, this orchestrated, almost global persecution of the people, stops with me. It cannot happen. It can never happen. That is why we do what we do. That is why I do what I do. I am campaigning for the freedom of my people because of the persecution that we are facing. Yes. It's as simple as that. Nothing more, nothing less. Yes. yes. Thank you very much. The is the man that can tell you. Oh no, one is one is one. Now leave. Now leave. Now leave. Now leave. I love my people very much and they know it. I don't want all this, anybody involved. I've been hearing about idiots talking all over the place. Some fools trying to be relevant because of Biafra or trying to use my name to gain relevance. I don't want it. I don't want any killings, no kidnapping. All this nonsense are alien to us as a people. I don't know where these animals came from. They are taking advantage of the fact that I'm in detention. But it will, it will soon end. They know what IPOB stands for. IPOB is one family. Any idiot trying to leech on IPOB, trying to use the name of IPOB, trying to subvert the will of the people, our principles and our core values, that person has a lot to contend with when the time comes. You can run, but you can never hide. You can run and hide and be talking all manner of rubbish, but one day we will catch up with you. my wonderful viewers for watching this video together with me from the beginning to the end like i said before if you like what you see here if you like what i do in this platform as you have finished watching this video please hit that red button that says subscribe and put on your notification bell to all notifications in that way you'll be able to know when i upload a new video share my videos leave your comments in the comment section constructively until I meet your way again in my next video, I still remain your Linda's TV show. Bye-bye.